The United Indian Nation reopened its three casinos in the region early this morning. News Channel 9's Julia LeBlanc was there to see Turning Stone welcome guests for the first time in months. Just before 5 a.m., Janet Tucker traveled 40 miles from Newport, New York, to make sure she was first in line at the reopening of the Turning Stone Casino. And time is passing quickly. <laughs> Playing Sudoku to keep busy, Tucker only has one thing on her mind getting inside to use her favorite machine she's been missing for months. I will feel like life is getting back to normal. Um, I enjoy coming to the casino, I enjoy shopping, I enjoy going out to dinner. And so this is my way of returning to normalcy. But normalcy looks different at all three of the United Nations gaming properties in central New York. Customers and employees will have to wear masks, sanitize often, and they have to go through a screening process before entering. We just uh, dove right in and did a great deal of study and care. Our foremost concern was for our employees and our guests. As soon as customers come in, they have to get their license scanned, they use hand sanitizer, and they also have to get their photo taken so they can get in touch with them for contact tracing. <laughs> New changes the customers are willing to take on. Uh, we'll play a few of the slot games and uh, enjoy the opening of the casino. You know, I'm glad it gives us something to do. You know, I'm glad that we're here. Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. The United Nation was able to rehire many of the 4,500 employees furloughed because of COVID-19 forcing them to close.